Welcome back. Um, I don't really do sports, but I do kind of like to, and I do kind of enjoy football, sort of. I just think that uh, it, it's it's um, a whole level above. Uh, those people become superhuman, and that's just the way it is. Um, when I saw what's his name Rice knock his knock that woman out in the elevator, I thought I didn't care. What she did to you, you're a giant monster. You're physically capable of cracking her in half. And, you know, um, the people that, these guys that are absolutely um, trained to hurt other people, that's just point blank. They're, they're made into um, killing machines. Pretty much, if our army needs a boost, take all the football players, take all the football players and put them in the army, in the military, because they're some of the best conditioned and trained and, um, well, whiny cry babies there is. Um, so real quick, I'll comment on Carson Wentz. Trash. Look, the dude's okay. He's an okay quarterback, but... Philadelphia, you, you need to find somebody else. You need to start looking. Um, how about Joe Flacco? Maybe Tom Brady. You bring Tom Brady to Philly, I think we get another Super Bowl. Anyway, okay, great. That's just great. That's great. They were talking about... Um, you know, you trash garbage, no good, lousy piece of trash television. I had that cued for a reason. But they're talking about Antonio Brown filing grievances and crying and whining. Listen, man, if I was capable of swearing right now, I would swear. Blank you. Do you understand that? Blank you. When you guys become football players, you have an obligation to entertain your fans. I'm not a fan of Antonio Brown. I think he, him and uh, Odell Beckham Jr. deserve each other. Maybe they could go off into the sunset and live happily ever after on a beach somewhere. But personally, there's all, you know we have entered an age where they used to hide it. They've been the same. They're they're human beings like you and I, but they hid their 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 hostilities mostly over the years. There have been major fights, but now it's like it's okay to, to be a giant jerk. And Odell Beckham Jr., um, look, you whiny cry babies. Holy moly. Knock it off. Knock it off. We are... I live... Basically, this is a trap house, man. Basically. Crack bags in the hallways. Um, water's leaking from the ceiling. Heat's not on. There's no heat in this building. Period. The windows in the hallways are open. They slid down. The pane, the glass panes slid down... So that there's an eight inch gap. Now my, my kitchen window's open, period. It's just open. You can't shut it. My living room window, you can't shut it. So you guys are whiny cry babies. You're, you want your helmet? Go get your helmet then. What are you talking about, Antonio Brown? Anyway, that's my comments on the sports section for this week. Please don't kill yourself. If you're going to go kill other people, then you can kill yourself. Just leave them out of it. But please don't, man. It's so tiring even thinking about it right now. About how many people are going to end their lives today and tomorrow. Because they feel left out. Or look, this holiday has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Jesus was not born in December. Because there's so many impossibilities that... I don't have enough fingers and toes to to add them up. There was no possibility that anyone, human being 
on this planet would have allowed a pregnant woman to go into the freezing, ice-covered poop in that manger to have a baby. And then once the baby was born, leaving it there, you know, he's you will find him wrapped in swaddling clothes in a manger. Um, the most hard-hearted innkeeper on the planet wouldn't have allowed that to happen. celebrating your Saturnalia, your, um, this is nothing but another one of their ritual pagan rituals, the festival, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Fertility festivals, that's what this is, and you specifically look into the scriptures in Jeremiah 10. And that specifically will tell you don't put that Christmas tree in your in your house, that tree. It specifically tells you that. So if you have a Christmas tree in your house this morning and you got your presents under it, don't try to tell me anything. Don't try to convict me of a sin or try to point the finger at me because you're celebrating the oldest pagan festival there is, the pagan ritual. That, um, that is disgusting. The pagan rituals that came from Babylon, okay, came out of Babylon. Look it up. Look up why you are decorating your tree. Look it up. Why you're decorating your tree with tinsel and garland. Please. Spend five minutes. You don't care? That's cool. That's cool. Anyway. So Antonio Brown, stop stop knock it off, man. I just I'm sick and tired of hearing all the garbage coming out of the the uh, the, the sports and it's ridiculous. You guys are paid millions of dollars. Yeah, you do it you, you work hard for a few months, but you you paid millions of dollars. I have no idea where this is going. I don't care about football. I'm not interested. I don't care about it. Yeah, she tore her tray up. She chewed it to shreds. The people that had her before me, she lived in there. So she's getting a little big for her britches. She runs right in there, though. She will run right in there. I don't know what they did to her, but... Yeah, she was naughty. And she knows it. I don't know where she got that piece of... uh have no idea where she got this from. Right here. How did you get this? Where did it come from? This piece of stuff. Where'd you get this? You had it stashed somewhere? Is this your stash? Huh? So they're telling me that there's no Jack Russell Terrier in this dog. They got the wrong dog. This is a Jack Russell Terrier. They say she has some um, Doberman, miniature Doberman. I don't really see it, but... And they said Beagle? Possibly. And I think they said... Uh, knock it off. Right. So we're about to get a shower. She and I. Because she stinks. And she was rolling around in poop all day yesterday. I walked her maybe four or five times. Came home. Went to work for three hours. Came back. She pooped everywhere, man. What is that? What are you trying to eat? Poop? It's poop. Oh, it's plastic. Yeah, she ate the plastic tray. Uh, so, I don't know. She's, obviously, you can see. She thinks it's dinner. So, I don't know what to do. 
I obviously can't let her eat eat this plastic. Rainbow wants to give her to somebody. I don't know who he is, but I'm not just going to hand her over to anybody. Folks, if you're considering suicide today, just remember that there is somebody that has it worse, as bad as you do. There are, man, right now, I have so much on my back right now. Like, I got to move because they're going to court on Thursday for this building. The heat's not on. There's this, do you see this gap here? Underneath here is the rat parade. There is all kind of mouse, gar mouse poop back here. And uh, I came in yesterday and this was all moved. My refrigerator, someone was in here without my permission. But they moved this whole thing out. The stove was not lined up. The refrigerator was pulled out. And uh, so, do you see that? You see that? There's nothing I can do about it. I can't shut it. Can't shut it. So, can't shut that one. Can't shut that one over there. Can't shut it. The man told me when they replaced this broken window over here. Which, look at that. That's that's how you fix stuff. He left that like that. That's how you fix stuff. Anyway, Trust me, I too want to end my life because it's a nightmare. It has nothing to do with the situation that's going on now, which is bad. This has to do with all my life I've known nothing but pain. People talk about the joy of the Lord. I have never, that I know of, experienced it. I don't know, I would say I was, I am a prophet of, of the Most High God. I would, if you ask me, yeah, that's what I believe. But you see something so easy, so simple to you as putting a trash bag in here becomes a monumentous thing for me. It would be simple just to put the trash bag and take that tea bag out of the sink and put it in there, right? So you would think, right? You would suppose that it would be as easy as that. But it's not. It becomes something so big that it stresses me out so bad that I can't do it. And, well, this ain't about complaining. This ain't about me. This is about people, um, don't kill yourselves, please. Unfortunately, once you do that, you can't cry out to Christ from the fires of hell because it's too late. Too late then. 